Good afternoon. Um, my uh, presentation now will focus on uh, the practical aspects of applying to the next calls and how to get um, support. Um, we hope, well, we don't have much time, but if we, if we have a couple of minutes at the end, uh, we can take one or two questions, um, but time is, is quite tight, um, but we'll quite try and keep it as, uh, as short as possible. Next slide, please. Uh, so here you can see the call calendar. Um, as you can see, and as uh, my colleagues have um, uh, mentioned this afternoon, uh, three calls were opened on the 22nd of June uh, this year. They are the doctoral networks, postdoctoral fellowships, and MSCA and citizens. Um, next slide, please. Um, you can uh, find all the calls that are published on the funding and tenders, uh, tender opportunities portal. Uh, so the recently published calls can be found there. Uh, applications are submitted through the portal. So through the portal, you can find the call. Uh, you need to sign into the portal and register your organization. You can also find partners and apply directly to the calls through the portal. Um, as mentioned um, earlier, for the doctoral networks and postdoctoral fellowships, uh, all the information on the recently published calls are there. Uh, the submission link is not yet uh, there, but as, um, as, as you saw from the, um, uh, from the call timetable that, that we just showed, uh, there is still until uh, the autumn to submit um, your applications. But the the submission link will be available uh, very soon. Next slide, please. Now, uh, a few, uh, a little bit of guidance on the resources and, and guidance that you need in order to apply for the calls. So it's very important to check all the, the guidance documents that are available on the funding and tenders portal. Uh, the basic um, uh, information is available in the legal basis, which is the MSCA work program and its annexes. Uh, in addition to that, one of the key uh, guidance documents is the guide for applicants, which provides an overview of the rules and the financial aspects. Uh, in addition, you can look at the proposal templates um, and the model grant agreements uh, and get familiar with these. Uh, there is an on online manual on how to submit an application, and there are also frequently asked questions. So I urge uh, anybody wishing to apply to the course to check carefully all these documents before um, going ahead. Uh, then, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, you can ask for advice from your MSCA national contact point. Uh, the list is available on the Funding and Tenders portal. You can also submit requests. Uh, to the research inquiry service. Uh, finally, there are also uh, regular information sessions that are organized. You can check with your NCP to find out when the next session is organized in your country. And you can also check the funding and tenders portal uh, to find out about any webinars that are organized by the European Commission services. Uh, and finally, we do also have partners that organize dedicated sessions for individual researchers, uh, including your access and the Marie Curie Alumni Association. So I urge you to, to check all these resources and to get all the information that you need. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, now, aside from the um, uh, opportunities published on our funding and, uh, funding and tenders portal uh, on the specific calls, uh, for institutions, there are also job offers for individual researchers, uh, which are available um, all year round on the Euraxis job portal. Um, so if you're interested in a PhD or postdoctoral opportunity uh, or hosting offer, um, you can go to the Euraxis job portal. Um, from there, you can see all the available uh, opportunities. We would urge you again to ask for advice from your MSCA national contact point before applying and of course check the project requirements uh, and then you can apply to the institution of your interest. Um, and I think I'll finish there for my presentation so thank you very much as I said um, uh, we may have time for a couple of questions at the end um, but I pass the floor to Anna. 
Um, thank you a lot. Um, good afternoon to, um, to everyone and thank you for giving me the opportunity to say a few words about uh, National Contact Points role uh, to this powerful and close to my Polish heart uh, program. I believe that um, NCP is a very important component of the whole support system because we assist the worldwide research and innovation community through the project life cycle from the first thought researchers may have until the end of the Maris Kodoska Kiri grant uh, implementation. Next slide, please. Next slide, thank you. Um, our activities uh, may be divided into these four categories. Um, one of the most important factor is that our support is provided in our own languages, uh, which simplify the understanding of these program rules and also contributing to success of our scientists and organizations <clears throat> coming from uh, different uh, sectors. Um, first of all, we promote the program by organizing different events, developing dedicated websites or publishing um, information in uh, different media, including, of course, so, so popular nowadays uh, social ones. Um, this awareness rising task is crucial as MCPs are quite often let's say a first face-to-face -face contact point where people get information, first explanation, and even first impression of Marit Kodoska Kiri actions. Um, by organizing training and uh, consultation meetings, uh, we help to deeper understand the procedures and rules, and also to find the most appropriate type of uh, grant. Um, furthermore, NCPs help to understand what is behind the information included in the work program or grant agreement, how to understand uh, criteria and questions included into the application forms. Uh, in fact, it can be said that the NCPs have different roles. Uh, sometimes we are like scouts or Pathfinders uh, making a reconnaissance of the whole Horizon uh, Europe program because, um, you know, when reading different documents, uh, we wonder how to translate the provisions into the uh, MSC requirements and also how to understand um, different information provided in the documents um, links to uh, Maris Kodoska TV actions. As advisors, uh, we suggest how to write the application, how to best or nicely cover uh, various issues researchers are requested to put in the application forms. And sometimes, like psychologists or coach, we try to convince science, scientists that it's worth correcting the application and submit, submitting it um, again. Um, our different roles are made possible uh, by our daily cooperation with colleagues from the European Commission and from research executive agency. You know, especially in the period between opening and closing calls, we have uh, many questions uh, that they uh, patiently answer in writing form or also during the trainings they organize uh, for us. Next slide, please. Okay, thank you. And finally, I would like to emphasize uh, the huge role of our NCP project uh, financed by different framework programs. What's, uh, one uh, such example is Net for Mobility Plus, which ends uh, in August uh, this year. Um, this project uh, help us to improve the quality of our services and I believe that they are really especially important to our to our newly nominated colleagues uh, because uh, by uh, participating in our trainings uh, in our internal discussions um, also with beneficiaries and evaluators or using um, ready-made presentations and other documents, they can quickly learn the rules um, of, the, uh, of the program. 
besides, uh, some of the project results are also dedicated to worldwide communities, such as our webinars, um, project writing handbooks, success stories, or expression of interest. And those and many others are available on, on our project website. So you are invited to visit it. So uh, to my mind, uh, thanks to this uh, variety of our activities, we are helping to increase the recognition of this program, as well as um, to increase uh, chances of our scientists to obtain grants having a huge um, impact on the further development, um, the further development of their professional uh, career. Um, I think that on behalf of, of my colleagues from different countries who deal with this program, um, I may invite you uh, to use our services, expertise and, and knowledge. You may find us in many countries and in every continent. So that's from all, my, all from my side. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much, Anna. Um, I I don't see any questions, um, but uh, Gerard, let me know if I if I've missed something. I do not see any question either uh, for this particular session, but we have put online a link to all the, um, the national contact points, the work program, the funding and tender opportunities portal, the hosting offers for uh, doctoral candidates and postdoctoral uh, researchers uh, on your access, which can be, uh, which will be very useful in case you are planning to apply for an MSCA project. Uh, I see Claire, there is a, there's a question. Um, uh, uh, for Anna, I think for fellows returning uh, to the EU from abroad, the proper NCP is in their current country of residence abroad or in the country of EU country of action implementation. Anna, can you reply to that question? Um, I think it really depends, but it's always uh, to ask MCPs in the country we are located because then the contact is uh, closer and then if it's a, a, a a need and then we can ask another MCP to help researchers, especially if um, the researcher is planning to submit application with organizations from other countries. We are a big network and we are in daily contact, so it's not a problem at all. Thank you very much. Um, I, think, uh, I think that's it, so I'll pass the floor back to Claire to conclude. Yes, indeed, I do not see any more um, questions. So we are coming to the end of this um, information uh, session on the MSCA. I hope you found it uh, useful. I'd like to, to thank all my colleagues uh, from uh, the Research Executive Agency, from my unit, uh, Anna, our um, dear NCP from, um, from Poland, um, who, has who has just provided quite a useful uh, advice and tips for future applicants. Uh, I'd like to remind you that this event has been uh, recorded. So recording will be, will be available on Horizon uh, Europe Info Day on the website of these Info Days. Uh, and if some of the questions could not be answered, there will be, as I said, a frequently asked questions um, that will be posted on the um, website of the info days and on the MSC website as well. So I'd like to thank you very much again for your participation, for your active participation in this in the Slido as well, all the questions that you have sent us. I hope you found it useful and uh, we hope that you uh, will apply in big numbers to the current and the future MSCA course for proposal. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>